I'm going to end now with a bit of uh, multi-literacies pedagogy. I'm going to give you this uh, little example from a science class in a, a town called Bamaga, a very small co town called Bamaga in the far north of Australia, at the very north of Cape York. So if you've got a map of Australia in your head, mental images, um, Cape York is this pointy bit on that side of the map. And um, uh, it's the very, very northernmost point in Australia, uh, in Cape York. And there's a little school there. And the people, the kids who go to school there are Torres Strait Islanders. Uh, they're not Aboriginal people. So across northern Australia, there are the Torres Strait, Torres Straits with a number of islands. Um, and the Torres Strait Islanders, uh, most of the kids in the school are Torres Strait Islanders. And the writing there is Torres Strait Creole. So the kids come to school with a Creole um, which, um, which reads like this. I'll read this text uh, to you in English. Um, today is Thursday, the 10th of October. The route, ego antown. And see the teacher's corrected that because she's actually interested in uh, phonetic spelling. Torres Strait Creole is not uh, a written language, but in fact, in order to represent the language in a way which is um, intelligible, um, she is imposing phonetic spelling on it, which makes kind of sense to be quite frank, particularly because the language is not uh, a written language. And dasut, the shoot, he go unt up. He goes up. So the root goes down, the shoot goes down, um, the shoot goes up. And then we've got some labelled images of shoots and seeds and roots and um, uh, th there. Now, if you're not familiar with coconuts, these images are going to seem a little bit peculiar because coconuts do a funny thing. And let me describe the school. The school is a little one room school on the edge of a beach and on the edge of the beach are all these coconut trees and the coconut, um, the coconuts fall on the ground. And when a coconut falls on gr the ground, it lays on its side and it germinates by the roots coming out that way and the shoot coming out this way. So it lies, lays sideways and the roots don't come out of the bottom, they come out of the side. See, you can see there that's what's happening. So what have we got here in terms of our multiliteracy pedagogy? Well, firstly, we've got image and we've got text. And the sentence, the root, ego, untown, is very different from, but absolutely parallel to, the image. And the one supplements the other. So here we've got the students doing science, we've got them doing language, we've got them doing multimodal uh, imaging. And by the way, the other aspect of this multimodal, multimodality, this synesthesia, is we can walk outside the door and pick up a coconut and see exactly this thing going on. So it's not, the meaning is not just in the text, of this piece of science work the kids are doing in this class. The meaning is in the context where this makes sense to them in a way that perhaps at first it didn't make sense to you um, uh, uh, because of the outside context. So this is uh, for us an example, uh, an early literacy example of multi-literacies pedagogy at work.